What the? Yep. Yes. That's literally what we've been talking about since you arrived. I, well, I mean, I kind of arrived late. <sighs> I think you there yesterday. You were, weren't you? N yeah, I was there yesterday, but oh. I just want to make sure, like, I don't know. I'd like, I just want to make sure you don't, like, um, how do I say this? Like what? Like, you don't, like, you don't feel like the reason he left is because of us. Because we truly tried to, like. We ch we no, I don't, think, I don't think I don't think it's because of us. The, the reason that he left um, uh, is because he was checked out. He said that himself. Yeah. Benji called this a long time ago when he dipped from council. Other people are going to get blamed through this shit. But the reality of these things is you have the power to change what you want to do. In Seaside, you all have a voice. They occasionally might tell you to shut the fuck up. But if you... Holy fuck, well, someone's dead. Well, there goes your gas station. Um, <clears throat> just remember, if you actually want to make a change, if you have an issue, that you guys can talk to us about it, we will fix it. But you need to try to fix it yourselves as well. And if you just want to lump it on someone else's lap and then blame them for it and not do anything to change that, or be a part of it, well, this ain't for you. You need to fight for this shit. Just as simple as that, right? So I don't want to hear anyone feeling like they're, that they're at fault or anything like this. Mm -hmm. JJ had the ability to be involved, to guide it the way that he wanted it, and do what he wanted to do. I mean, I'll be honest with you boys, right? I had a few conversations with JJ. Who the fuck is this walking in? Oh my gosh. We had a... <laughs> I, had, I had a few conversations. <laughs> Epi, shut up! I've had a few conversations with JJ, right? Let's see side lines. And uh, and the biggest thing, okay, this this is this is what's gonna be at the highlight. Every time we did jobs or whatever like that, I don't know, I don't know how to label it, uh, Reggie, other than me being hubris, bro. Do you guys know what hubris is? You guys know what that what that Over term ego. means? No. It's like, you know, intelligence, uh, intelligence, ego, pretty much, you know, I'm better than you because, uh, you know, my IQ is higher and shit like that. And that's the kind of vibe that I used to get from him whenever he talked about certain things. And so what I, what I mean by intelligence ego is the fact that he saw himself as the person. And I, I I'm, I'm, I'm willing to admit he did do some good shit. It's just. Sometimes it felt like we were just legitimately dumb to him, bro, boys. You know, he'd be saying like, oh, I am the one that does the memorable jobs. You know, I do the memorable jobs for Seaside. I make things, I do things differently. I want us to be more creative and shit like that. And it hurt me because I said... Not everybody's going to have the same concept of what is memorable or creative, right? Like the, like everybody's just a little bit different in the way that we do things. And he didn't see it that way. It was, you know, it was uh, that, that used I to think, come up uh, and he stopped. Yeah. And the problem is m us being a gang of convenience for whenever he woke up or and with Cass, it just, you know, they just tend to, uh, they tend to highlight the problems we have instead of like providing any solutions, you know, they walk up, they say something like, oh, that's dumb or oh, that's stupid or oh, that's silly. Why don't you just do this instead? So out of weeks of every other seaside member talking to each other and discussing and trying to come up with a decision. They, he just inserts himself or Cass will come in and you'll hear from somebody that is just dumb, silly, stupid. And it just hurts, bro. It's like they're not part of the process of anything to create uh, how Seaside should think. But then they always got a negative comment about it, right? Yeah. And that's, that's painful, bro. And that's why this led to this. Oh, yeah. MP. Uh, yeah. If you don't know or not, um, JJ and Cass are no longer seaside. We didn't blot them out. They're free to walk. Um, and we were talking about the performance reviews. 
Uh, you've got a week, otherwise you're following them. <laughs> it's the shit that I told you. He can't. He's got a daughter outside the city. Oh no, he's just got to make <laughs> fucking money, so he's not a broke bitch. It's oh, not okay, hard. okay. I thought it was uh, another problem. Oh, I gave him three <laughs> different options and things that he can do. <laughs> different <laughs> motherfucker didn't even wake up <laughs> one week mp <gasps> test me to see if you think i'm joking oh, test him no no cuss an mp wait yeah you look like donut mp that's crazy <laughs> does it they look the same. Oh, exactly. Yeah, with darker take hair. Off your, with darker take off your hair. Take off your head. Give your head, MP. Take off the shiesty. Take off the shiesty. off. Oh, hell no. Stay next to each other. They, they, they do kind of look very Oh, hell no. You look like oh, Ming rejected the both of y'all, bro. <laughs> what you Ming didn't crazy. reject me. That's my dad. That's crazy. <laughs> Why does he always look surprised? <laughs> <laughs> I don't yeah, know what the fuck is going on. Surprised all this time. <laughs> yeah, we don't got take this. Yeah, don't don't bro, don't, don't look like he don't speak English, bro. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. huh? <laughs> what? You know yeah. you know who wouldn't laugh at that joke? JJ. Oh shut up. He Listen. wouldn't laugh at that joke. Not smart enough for him. I think you're good. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. You're overreacting a little bit. <laughs> I think you are, except the fact that he, like, um, he left a while ago. Uh, no, not, not, not even that. I mean, I think we all accepted the fact that he did feel like he was a little bit, like, uh, too smart for us, or like the things that we did sometimes were dumb. But I mean, I feel like a lot of us were, like, accepted that and accepted kind of being judged a little. But at the end of the day, we still considered him family. And even if he didn't fight to be seaside, we were fighting for him to be seaside until he checked out. I mean, we were even planning uh, things to do together. And I get it. I get to, it. Like be together. But I mean, I mean he told me if... he told me already like, like last time, bro. Like, I mean, like, I think it was a month ago, two months ago. He told me that, like, you know how we chill. <sighs> OK. I'm going to say this at the end. OK, this is how it is. When he woke up, Yokai was his priority. That was for months. Don't talk about when he checked out. No, that, that was for months on end. He had other priorities where he wouldn't share what he had with us because he thought it was dumb. He would wake up in Sandy and do shit with Yokai. That was his priority. We have Hayes as a business. He worked for Otto's. We had Burger Shot. He didn't join us even once. We all played Pirates. He didn't join us even once. You know, Burger Shot was open. I bet you he would work at Uwu. And that's just the fact, guys. You know, it's th this is something that we knew was going to happen from the beginning. However, the fact that he was a founder and a longtime friend of mine and counsel, we let it slide because I'll be, I'll be honest with you guys. I refuse to admit it, man. It's just hard for me to accept the fact that somebody that's been my day one for like fucking three years just decided to up and go because he made a bad call. The dumb thing about all of this is that he's the one who decided to not even be counsel anymore. You know? And the, and the biggest uh, and the weirdest thing is I remember the day when he wanted me to accept Cass as a hang around and full member and he pushed for it with all his power. It was like, this is the one thing that I want. I want this to happen. And that person ended up, you know, being judgmental towards us and shit. And that's just fucking sad, man. People don't remember any of that stuff, you know? They don't they don't they don't remember how they got to where they where they at in the first place and they just think that oh it's because I'm so fucking awesome. But whatever, bro. Today is the only day that I will 
Be sad about this, then tomorrow I will move on. <sighs> yeah, I don't know how, how like really worked. Like, I don't know if if like if they just didn't know the boys that much or whatever, but it's not like, about for me in my case. It's not about not knowing the like, boys, I, Dragon. It's about making stories up in your head. Um, uh, got you. You come up with your own conclusions in your head without even talking to anybody. That's how. Uh, thank you, boys. I appreciate your time today. I'm going to dream about zombies. Fuck y'all. Oh, God damn. Shit, man. MP, wake up after storm. <sighs> okay. Actually, I'm uh, going to take a nap in my apartment. Make sh wake up Benji. and stay awake for a while after storm. <laughs> what the fuck? Benji, quick <laughs> Those question. are two is, different things. Is there, is there any <laughs> sort of plans when it comes to the Bahamas or no? Uh, well, it's going to be the Simones and Pitchers, if I'm not mistaken. Mm -hmm. Then after that, we'll get some of the boys to manage it, you know, be a part of it. Don't worry. We'll sort it out soon. Okay. Because when it comes to security, uh, I can I can get you guys hired if you guys want to. Gotcha, okay. I'll sit out that one. I'll, I'll sit out that one. I'll, uh, I'll, take, up, I'll take security. Remember, have fun with yeah. Burger Shot and Hayes. Hey, have fun. Uh, it's not gang gangland, man. motherfuckers. I hope we make I hope we make you proud more proud than anybody who's ever left Benji You already have <laughs> Not you Fredo the rest <laughs> Chat I I, I want to say something okay I, I want to say something, okay? It always sucks when somebody that you've known. I want you to. I want to tell you guys something, okay? Not a single DM between Haddad and I, okay? That was all done in RP. What the actions that they took? Uh, with Tiny, I think the last thing I talked to Tiny about was whether or not they were going to TwitchCon. None of that happened, okay? There's no DMs or we don't do this kind of shit. OOC. And I just want you to know that. I know that it's frustrating for some of you, but I know that people that are watching right now, a lot of you are my viewers slash Seaside viewers, okay? Now, do me a favor and just remember the golden rule, okay, chat? Don't watch if you can't handle it. You know what I mean? Don't go, don't go to hotted stream tiny stream just to come back into meta chat and like yip yap and and complain about how do they do that how do they do this no bro no bro it's just silly it's just silly there's nothing that's going to come from that there's nothing that's going to come from that you want to you want if you want to if you want to if you if there's something that you want to defend uh you know I, well i can't do that anyway that would be degrading but uh you know it's already being done to us. So we don't need to start doing it for against other people and shit like that. Is pretty much what I'm saying. You can be fucking parasocial, bro. That's fine. I'm just saying you want to know you want to know what what you know the best way to 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 have people happy, bro. Just watch this watch the streamers that you support. Watch the streamers that you support, man. You know what I mean? Imagine imagine when you when you click off your main streamer and you you go to check some drama and get so, and get mad about it in meta chat not only do you become toxic we also lose ad revenue <laughs> you know what i'm saying <laughs> right <laughs> am i wrong you literally chat you literally watching twitch.tv slash lithium some drama going on you go to that stream you get mad at that stream, then you type in meta chat 
and then you get mad, and then I lost ad revenue, and then you uh, uh, start typing somewhere else. Right? What's the fucking point? I might, I, I'd rather have you guys stay here, be clueless about the drama, I keep the money. Is that wrong? You get what I'm saying, right? <laughs> so, so instead of, yeah, so, you know, and so, the thing is sometimes chat, you know, you know, they are, they, I'm not saying this, this is not hard at all. Or tiny, okay. The funny thing is, there there are people that are legitimate like drama baiters, and the fact that people get baited by the drama, that's why they keep on doing it. Because they say, "Oh my god, I said that, and my my viewership peaked, <laughs> so I'm gonna say it again. <laughs> then I'm gonna say it again. Then I'm gonna do it again because they keep on falling for the same bait. Bro, come on." Use your fucking brains, bro. Use your fucking brains. You don't want that shit to happen. Stop fucking enabling it, bro. You know, stop fucking enabling that shit, bro. Bro, shut the fuck up, Zian. <laughs> 